This is Twit. Mr. Jeff Jarvis. Hello, hello, hello. Who is a so feeling, author I, of a oh. brand new book. Everybody show your book. Ooh, Everybody ooh, in the audience, hold up your Gutenberg parenthesis. Yeah, baby. Okay, Stacy's on a Kindle. There's nothing to hold up. Mine's on Kindle. My Kindle's downstairs. I should have gotten it. I, it came out last Friday. So proud of you, Jeff. And uh, you. I didn't realize what a scholar you are. This is on every page. Oh, you guys got footnotes. Not just footnotes, footnotes. everywhere. A huge amount of research on this thing. Um, and you, I kind of, I mean, I should have known because you were always showing us the books you were reading, preparing the book and so forth. But yeah, this was this was a real one. This wasn't just It's a blathering. scholarly uh, well, absolutely scholar. That far, but, but I yeah. think the premise is perfectly described in the epigram uh, from uh, Mark Twain. It is. It, wasn't that a great find? Wow. All the world acknowledges, wrote Mark Twain in 1900, that the invention of Gutenberg is the greatest event that secular history has recorded. Gutenberg's achievement created a new and wonderful earth, but at the same time, also a new hell. Now, start comparing this to what we talk about with the internet and social media. Mm -hmm. During the past 500 years, Gutenberg's invention has supplied both Earth and hell with new occurrences, new wonders, and new phases. If found truth a stir on Earth and gave it wings, but untruth also was abroad and it was supplied with a double pair of wings. And now I'm understanding the subtitle, the subhead of your book, The Gutenberg Parenthesis, The Age of Print and the Lessons for the age of the internet. I love that. It's funny that 1900, Mark Twain was bemoaning exactly the same problems that we yeah, had Yeah, it was, and it was for the 500th birthday of, of Gutenberg yeah. that he wrote that Fascinating. in a newspaper. And I also note that you have dedicated it to Craig Newmark. Well, well sort of. The Craig Newmark Graduate School of Journalism at the City <laughs> University of New York. Craig <laughs> <laughs> And even the book sings when you open it. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Technology, man. Thank anyway, you for oh, that. See, nice, I didn't get that nice in the plug. Kindle. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, you know, I think you might also miss out on some of the fonts in the Kindle, too. In the very, very back of the book is a, a, a colophon. Did you notice that? I love colophons. Mm -hmm. I actually put one on my first oh, blog. Right. What, which is, what is this? It's, Say more it's, words. It, the colophon is, describes how the book was produced, basically, what fonts and so oh. forth. It, since, since the scribes. It was, it was scribes would do this and say, you know, Father Joseph wrote this book. Uh, so he, you talked about the dove's type, which you've talked about before on the show. Right. That was the one where he, was, it was, he threw it into the Throwing river. in the river. <laughs> yep. Body type is Sabin, follow, favored by book publishers. Designed by uh, Jan Tichold. Jan Tichold. Tichold, after he escaped imprisonment from the Nazis. Amazing. There's a history. This is what I love about oh, this is good, sir. books and type. Uh, we should have Glenn yeah, I Fleischman here. I guess, when are you doing that well, event with I, Glenn? By the way, that's, I, feel, I feel really guilty. Glenn was supposed to be on today, and I got back early from London, and I thought, oh, good, I'll be on with Glenn. Okay, you and can leave And then I bumped now. him off. It's like, it's like the star <laughs> comes in, and the understudy says, oh, there was my show. Oh, Jerk. <laughs> Any, come in today. Anybody I who feel is really bad, Glenn. Anybody who has ever worked in media has had that happen to them. I remember flying to New York to be on the Today Show and sitting in the green room for all three hours. <laughs> oh no! And then they come come out at nine. And said, "Yeah, we bumped you for something," and uh, and then they did a courtesy wow. interview. They said, "But come on, we'll do the interview anyway." And they never aired it. I was going to say, so, they probably never aired it. They least, never hit record. Uh, if you, I, I, I'll get Glenn, <laughs> after the show, come, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They barely took the dust covers off yeah. the show, Jay. I'm sorry, Glenn. <laughs> and Glenn and I, are, I hope Glenn doesn't hate me. Glenn and I are going to be together at the Museum of Printing on Saturday with Martin Wickery and uh, Doug Wilson, the uh, who made the London Type movie, all talking about all this stuff. Uh, one o'clock, uh, Haverhill, 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 Massachusetts. Haverhill, Mass., uh, 1 o'clock, Museum of Printing, which is a wonderful, wonderful place. And so we're all going to be there s a Saturday at 1. If Doug doesn't hate me, I mean, if Glenn doesn't hate me now for bumping him off the show. I'm sure Glenn understands. We'll have Glenn on <laughs> soon. Don't worry. Uh, yes. I do like it when you guys get on because you're both typeface nerds. He's so good at this stuff. Yeah. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twit, which costs seven bucks a month, 
Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.